What up, everybody? It's your boy Buckshot, and we are back with Unboxing with Buckshot, video number five. I hope everybody has been enjoying these videos. They've been pretty fun making them. Little work, but, uh, you know, they say little work goes a long way. And, uh, you know, first two videos, we were around the 40-minute mark. And uh, I felt like that was just a little bit too long to hold your all's attention. So I'm going to try to start keeping these at about 20 minutes. And uh, I kind of feel like that's more of a, uh, a sweet spot before uh, people maybe start getting bored or losing their attention on what we're doing. So uh, yeah, you know, that's uh, today's plan you know, trying to keep this around 20 minutes as well. But before we start, I want to uh, give a shout out to my homie Crucifix. And if you all check out these super, super dope sunglasses I'm wearing here, these are my homie's Cruce brand new line. And uh, these things are dope. I don't think he has these on his website yet, but uh, these are the pretty much like the limo tint ones, and uh, obviously too dark for me to make an unboxing video, but uh, when he just came into town, he gifted these to me, which, uh, you know, he's my homie. He wouldn't let me buy them, and, uh, but I just wanted to give him a shout out and plug his new uh, sunglass line. And uh, I think he's got like three or four different styles to choose from, which he's got them on tour. Uh, you know, he's on tour with Overtime and uh, the Scars and Stripes tour. And he's selling these at his merch booth. They come in a super, super awesome case. You know, Cruz is a uh, master of branding and uh he knows what he's doing so if you need some new dope shades look up your boy crucifix shout out cruz but let's uh let's get into some toys Right, this is a pretty awesome first toy to start with. This is a G.I. Joe six inch Zartan figure. Uh, packaging looks really, really great. No, uh, no damage anywhere on here. I'm 99% sure this was originally a Walmart exclusive, which if you can find a Walmart action figure in this shape, you're a pretty lucky person because usually uh, their stuff doesn't come in this nice of shape. But little side note, I do remember when I purchased that, off of uh, eBay and I actually had to pay an extra I think it was five dollars for collectors packaging so basically for five more dollars they go through their inventory and uh, they find a figure that is in collector shape and they kind of go above and beyond with the packaging so uh, five dollars well worth spent on that one. I'm actually trying to be careful so I don't uh, bend or damage anything while unboxing this. And right here we have a uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi 50 year anniversary and uh i've had some really bad luck getting this figure 
uh, first time I got this figure. This is one of those Walmart exclusives. And guy sent me the uh, figure and it was damaged. He then sent me a new figure, which was damaged. And then I had to get a refund. And then I bought this from another completely different seller. And as you can see here, I'm sure it kind of looks like there was a tag, maybe a, a sticker on the front of it. And they used some kind of a solvent of some sort to uh, take it off. And uh, so, yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't think I was meant to have this figure in collector's shape. So, uh, you know, I guess try, try again. <laughs> Sometimes you can't win for losing. And with that figure, uh, you know, with my luck, that's, you know, you see it. nice right here we have a vintage style gi joe cobra commander this is actually a walmart exclusive this thing is a uh, perfect shape whenever i see these walmart exclusives i get very very nervous and this is actually look like it came straight off the uh factory line Perfect. All right. Got some more Star Wars action here. This is from the Mandalorian line, the uh, credit collection. This is a grief carga. It's actually in immaculate shape perfect straight no damage no bends this is the Star Wars Jedi Survivor 3 pack which I've actually in one of my previous videos I've opened one of these before but I actually purchased this one so I could uh, take the th three figures out of the box and keep them with the actual figure collection. And I wanted one to keep sealed like this because I'm a uh, just a collector nut like that. All right. Right here we have a follow suit with the last figure. This is a Star Wars Mandalorian, and this is a credit collection figure. This is an Imperial Death Trooper. And what makes it part of the credit collection are these kind of looks like, uh, it's called credits, but it's basically like currency or money in the Star Wars universe. This one here, you can see there's a get the right angle with the light there's a real nasty crease in the actual figure which it's never fun uh, I always call it the woes of collecting it sucks when a uh, toy you buy online is listed as mint condition and uh, that is not mint condition and the box that it came in is in perfect shape. It wasn't damaged in shipping. Uh, you know, they just list it as mint because I guess for some people that is bait to make the purchase. And then obviously when you open it, uh, it's a different store. So let's move on. I actually know what this is. This is actually uh, another Star Wars Mandalorian credit figure, just like the last few we have opened up. 
they have shipped this very nice. All right. This is actually in really nice condition. This is uh, actually the character Paz Vizsla, which uh, it's called Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. But this figure came out before they actually disclosed his name. And, uh, but yeah, his name's actually Paz Vizsla. Pretty cool uh, character in the Mandalorian Disney show. Well, I'm not uh, having a very lucky day today with uh, getting undamaged items. But as you can see here, there's a real nasty crease. Uh, box is in perfect shape. I don't think uh, it happened during shipping because it was packaged well and uh, same story as the last one but just it was damaged uh, looks like it was you know they shipped it actual damaged yeah these uh, figures that come you know in this vintage uh, style with the card backs like that I've had a lot of uh, bad luck with the shape that they've been coming in Right here, we have a Han Solo from The Empire Strikes Back. This is actually a first pressing. Comes with the uh, unused free Boba Fett sticker on the front. It's in, uh, it's in pretty good condition to be as old as it is. Okay, we are on a roll with uh, items that are uh, coming damaged today. <laughs> and guess what? It's Mandalorian uh, credit collection. You can see here the, the damage. So, all right. Okay, there's several figures in that box. This one here actually is in perfect condition. So there's a few other uh, few other figures in that box. Oh, and by the way, I didn't say uh, this is the armorer from uh, the Mandalorian series. So yeah. Got a few more uh, figures in here. And uh, once again, you know, there's a uh, nasty uh, crease. Let me kind of get back. There's a nasty crease in the uh, packaging here. Trials and tribulations of a uh, toy collector here. It looks like we got two more toys. This here is a G.I. Joe Walmart exclusive Cobra Officer. And that actually came in perfect shape. And we have one more. And it is a G.I. Joe Cobra Trooper. So we had five, uh, five different figures in this. And uh, three were perfect and two were not. So going to have to figure this one out.
Oh, okay. This is Empire Strikes Back, the Black Series. This is a Luke Skywalker with Master Yoda. Two-pack. It's actually a 40-year anniversary. Little G.I. Joe action. This is a Walmart exclusive G.I. Joe Duke figure. We're in good shape. I'm gun shy today. I feel like every package uh, that I'm going to open is going to be damaged now <laughs> because we've had so many. But this actually... This actually turned out really, really nice. Talking about holding your breath after uh, every box is open. All right. Another uh, G.I. Joe Walmart exclusive. And this looks good. This is a Sergeant Stalker in the uh, vintage look. All right, this here is another Mandalorian credit collection, and this is the actual The Mandalorian figure, and this is pretty perfect you can see here we're down to a couple left whatever this is is actually packaged very very nice oh okay all right now we have uh, something super special. This is a really cool, uh, really cool figure to get toward the end like this. This is a vintage collection Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Clone Commander Cody. And this is in the foil. You see it's got the foil printing all the way around it. It's got the free Boba Fett figure. This was a stupid expensive figure. You can see it's perfect. I don't see any kind of damage whatsoever on it. And uh, that is a uh, very, very hard to find action figure especially in this shape and we have one more okay looks like two figures in here look like they packaged them pretty good doesn't look like there was any damage in shipping but this here is oh wow okay I guess we're ending on a uh, really good note these last two. I didn't realize these had shipped yet. I want to be very careful that I don't drop these. So, these figures, it is a Grogu from the Razor Crest from Star Wars The Mandalorian. And then we have this guy right here who is off-world Jawa Elder. And what makes these so special, well, as you can see, for one, both of these are unpunched, you know. But these figures actually came with the Mandalorian ship, which was called the Razor Crest which was actually destroyed in the second season of The Mandalorian. 
but the only way you could get these figures was if you bought that ship and it was a HasLab project which it's basically for Hasbro it's like a GoFundMe you know it's like I think this one was like $400 uh, and it comes with these figures which I've got the ship but I didn't want to open it to kind of keep it more valuable and rare but I still wanted the figures separately so I ordered these figures separately they were not cheap and they are an immaculate shape and uh, trying to be careful I don't drop these y'all get a good view of both of them and uh yeah the last two uh figures today were huge ones so so we uh we end on a good note after all the uh mishaps of damaged figures so yeah there we uh we are finished for today and I uh, hope everybody had a good time. And uh, I've got some more figures, uh, boxes that I did not bring, you know, saving them for the next video. And, uh, you know, I'll probably film the next video in a week from now and I'll have some more things accumulated. And like I said, I'm trying to keep everything at about 20 minutes per video or whatnot. And, uh, but thanks for joining me today. I hope you all had a good time and I will see you all in a couple weeks. All right. Peace.